Hey guys, so I'm back to another Queen Phone video. In today's video, we're talking about HTC. I think this is actually pretty big news since I think everybody thinks that HTC is not even a company anymore and that they're not really making any cell phones anymore. So I don't know if you guys knew, but like HTC back in the day, I wouldn't say like super back in the day, but you know, a couple years back was a pretty big thing, uh, especially in the prepaid uh, market, especially like on Boost Mobile, you know, Metro, Cricket, and all that stuff. Uh, they made quite, you know, some decent phones, um, of course, you know, like the bigger flagship ones, of course, they made some mid-range and, of course, lower-end tier phones as well. So, this is kind of interesting to see that they're actually introducing a new phone, guys. This has been many years since actually released, at least that I know of, a, a decent phone or another phone at all. So, this is brought to you by prepaidphonenews.com, so you can check them out. Um, like I said, I'm still kind of having issues with uh you know the webcam so don't mind me um but I'll, I'll try to fix that um another cool thing guys is if you want to support the channel you can by checking out honey honey is a free web browser extension i'll find the best prices online uh doesn't matter if it's amazon best buy walmart booze cricket whoever you will get a, a nice discount if you can find it so will be in the description below you download that install it on your chrome browser once you install it and make your first purchase i do get a small commission so that will help join honey.com slash ref slash dragonic that will be in the description below guys but let's get to these news that i think is important i, I even made a video about it but so it says htc unveiling two phones next week so very soon now this was from the 12th of june so this was on friday it says htc is set to introduce a new smartphone in a few days but apart from this device they are getting ready to unveil a couple of new devices in an event next week so wow like i said htc is definitely trying to come back and win our hearts as consumers but you know is it too late now that i would say you know the competition is pretty big especially you know with iphone with iphone se you know for that price 400 dollars is very hard to beat then of course samsung has the a series so like the a50s a51s the a70s like i said they they're kind of hard to compete so htc has to you know come out with something nice even motorola came out with the moto uh, g power and then you know the g stylus i believe so like i said for htc they have to do something bold to really win our money and our hearts <laughs> really um it says this was confirmed confirmed via its official twitter account so htc if you follow them on twitter which i don't know you know many people that do um they did post this so the post shared that the smartphone manufacturer will be unveiling the two new devices on june 16th so that's about two days from now guys that's tuesday um so that's pretty cool um of course i'll probably make a video just depending you know how this video does it says prior to being launched globally the two phones will arrive in taiwan taiwan Taiwan, geez, first. Uh, sorry, I think I need some electrolytes. It says, according to reports, one of the devices that HTC will unveil next week is a much awaited HTC Desire 20 Pro. So, they actually had on Boost Mobile HTC Desire 601, I believe. Uh, it's been a while, guys, since HTC even came out with the phone or HTC 6 or something like that. But the Desire was one of the phones that was on Boost Mobile's network. And uh, a couple other carriers, I believe Metro PCS, which it was Metro PCS back in the day, um, had it as well. It says this device is said to come with Snapdragon 665. Wow, which is a nice, I think, mid-range processor. You know, it's not an 8 series, but still a 665 processor with 6 gigabytes of RAM, guys. That's pretty interesting. So I'm guessing this phone's going to be priced roughly about 250 maybe $300, give or take, you know, in that price range. Um, wow, the display is going to be a 2340 by 1080, so you will get a 1080p display, which is great. Um, it'll be running, of course, Android 10, which is the newest thing. It says, and then, of course, there's teaser pictures and everything uh, with multiple cameras on the rear and a whole punch selfie camera, which we'll check in just a little bit. But here is HTC's official Twitter, guys. So as you can see, on June 16, uh, GMT, or, you know, uh, we're bringing two new devices to Taiwan with other markets to follow so that's probably you know the usa uh you know you know probably north and south america included and you know everywhere else that you know they sell phones so you you can also check you know htc vive for more information 
but yeah, <laughs> how that goes. But here is the kind of leaked image, or not really leaked. I mean, they they leaked them themselves. But you can see right here, you see it's, it looks like a triple camera design. This kind of looks like the A, you know, the A series on Samsung. So if you really look at it from the back, um, so it looks like it's an A, you know, fifty for all we know. Um, I'm guessing here on the side, it looks kind of like fingerprint sensor, like an on phone fingerprint sensor, but I don't know. And then that's probably the power button, volume up, volume down, but not much else to kind of see you guys. So it says as well, although there's no word on the other HTC device that will be unveiled next week, there are reports that the manufacturer will be unveiling more information on HTC Vibe 2. So like I said, I think everybody is maybe excited. I mean, HTC, I think was a pretty good phone. For what it was and you know trying to compete with the big dogs but is it a little a uh, little bit too late is my real question because you know i don't know many people that are going to be like oh sweet let me go get the new htc um like i said most people now are engraved with samsung uh or apple of course maybe lg is still in the game but it's it's getting a little rough you know so but that's today's news, guys. Hopefully you like it. Let me know in the description below. Will you be picking up the new HTC if it's good enough? What do you think the price will be? And is it going to be a good phone? So, yeah, I mean, 6 gigs of RAM and a 665 processor is pretty great. Uh, pretty good, should I say, with a 1080p display. So that's pretty cool. So, thank you for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Dragonic Warfare for signing off. Let me know, like I said, what do you think about this phone? And would you get it? for yourself so thank you guys